So this one started with several false awakenings, but I'm gonna kind of skip past those parts and um, pretty much just go to where it starts to get interesting. So I was in my bathroom and um, the sink was dirty even though I had just cleaned it the day before. And uh, so I was looking at the dirty spots and thinking about cleaning it again. And as I was looking at it, it was like there was shower water coming down from the ceiling onto the dirty spots. And wherever I moved my eyes, so this is my eyes, right? Or my vision. So wherever I move my eyes, the water kind of follows and just cleans off that spot. And uh, so that told me I was still in a, still in a dream. I had been lucid. Uh, for a few minutes before also. So I try to get out of the bathroom and I try to open the door but uh, it's one of those hard to open door situations. Uh, it was almost like there were double doors closing like at a Walmart and so I'm trying to like force my way open. Uh, long story short, I, I force it open and I squeeze through there. So I leave through my front door and as I'm leaving I hear someone behind me like following me and um, so I kind of start looking over my shoulder um, but I realized that the act of looking over my shoulder is gonna create a person following me you know because it's a dream so whatever you kind of expect to happen is gonna happen so I'm walking down the street to the left side and um, actually before this I had been walking down the street lucidly and um, the street was getting narrower and narrower and it started to look like my hometown and um, eventually the streets were so narrow that I couldn't walk down them so I kind of had to jump up onto the roofs but this time they didn't get narrow and um, the next thing I knew I was kind of it was like I was walking through an open house type of situation like if someone was selling their house and I was looking through it and it was like me and some friends were looking through it. Um, but I'm still lucid. And so I jump out the window and uh, those friends of mine follow. And so now we're kind of in an area of my neighborhood and there's like a fair going on with like that thing where you kind of grab apples out of a barrel with your mouth. But I didn't see that, but it had a vibe like that would be there. Um, so I was just going to walk out of the neighborhood, but those other friends of mine wanted to stay. They weren't, like, based on real friends. I have no idea who they were. Like, I never actually looked at them, so I don't know what they looked like or, looked like or anything. But, uh, yeah, they wanted to stay, and uh, they got in this, like, pool type of thing. It was, like, a really small, like, kiddie pool size pool, but it was like it was made out of a barrel. Maybe that's why I got the impression of the apple barrel thing. There were no apples in it. They were just my friends in it. Uh, and so I went in after them, and the water felt pretty pretty good, pretty real, not super duper real. I wanted it to be a little colder, so I kind of tried to make that happen by just imagining coldness. Um, but uh, I don't think that worked. So I was in there underwater. Um, I didn't have to come up to breathe because you don't have to do that in dreams. You can just breathe underwater. Um, and then it kind of becomes like one of those infinity pools like how there's just like it's like a treadmill but a pool it's the i think that's the best way i can explain it i don't want to try to explain it in detail and then get all confusing but it was that and uh so we were swimming in there and then someone kind of like put a lid over the whole thing and so we were trapped in there for like a second and then i just pushed open the lid thing and when i did I like it was like made it felt like it was made of like stone but it wasn't heavy because it was a dream so I tossed it off and it collided with some people who I kind of gathered were our kidnappers but they weren't very good kidnappers because they kind of just let us get out of the pool and go so now we were in like a really tall uh, skyscraper type building maybe not skyscraper but like a 10-story building and uh, we were walking away, and it seemed like, oh, at this point, I think only one of my friends was there. Um, but he was, like, kind of mad at me and, like, just, like, kind of kind of ditching me. And I said, hey, hey, it's me. I'm, I'm your friend. And uh, he said, you really think of yourself like that? 
and uh, and then he just left down the hallways, and the hallways were getting darker and darker in the direction that he was going. Um, so I stayed in the less dark direction, and um, I opened the blinds of a window that was next to me, and I saw some college kids partying. I seem to keep seeing that in my in my dreams, or at least my lucid dreams, just college kids. Because I'm like kind of college age. I'm a little old to be in college, but I am in college. Anyways, I think, uh, yeah, I have a false awakening from there. So now I'm in my bed with my sleep mask on. And on the other side of my sleep mask, I see like flashing lights. And I get freaked out because it gives me the impression that there are aliens like dissecting me. Um... But I don't want that to be what the dream becomes. So I try to I try to take off the sleep mask, but I do it too fast. Like I'm too freaked out as I'm doing this. And when you're when you're freaked out, when you act freaked out in a dream, things don't go your way. So you can have to act calm. So that's what I did. Um, so I tried to calmly take off the sleep mask this time, and it and it worked. But just on the other side, so I like take off the sleep mask and I see myself it's kind of like there's a mirror like that close in front of me but rather than it being a mirror it's just a real version of myself and he's like peeking one eye out of his sleep mask so that didn't go as planned uh, so I kind of just put the sleep mask back on I kind of just let it let it stay on and I got up anyways um, and when I did the sleep mask kind of just ended, ended up disappearing. I was able to see again. So I opened the blinds and the curtains of my window uh, with the hand motion commands. Uh, and I kind of jumped through the bug screen, which seems to be the method that works the best, I guess. So I get out, and um, at first it's daytime outside, but then it pretty quickly becomes nighttime. Um, so now I walk down the street, rather than turning left, I kind of just walk straight down the street, like forward, and there are Halloween decorations in all this, in all the houses all around, uh, which had happened earlier in the lucid dream, in the portions where I was having a bunch of false awakenings, so I kind of skipped those portions, but yeah, so Halloween decorations all around, and I started hearing, um, well, I was, I was trying to sing the the happy songs to make it daytime again but i started hearing screaming like people screaming like a horror movie type of situation like sometimes you just hear screaming in the background or like a horror video game so yeah the dream was getting the opposite of better it was it was getting more freaky so i kind of just took it as a sign that i needed to stop lucid dreaming like my subconscious was just trying to trying to get me to stop lucid dreaming so I guess there's such a thing as too much. I have been doing it, I have been having lucid dreams pretty much every night for a few nights now. So so yeah, I, I just woke up at that point. At first it was a false awakening, but then I was able to wake up for real. So yeah, that was it. And in other news, I haven't really been doing the blueberries thing. Um, I think the main thing that it did was help me to be aware of me waking up from REM cycles. Um, so that way I can do wake back to bed at the time that I like to do it. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of stopped having the blueberries, but I was still continuing to be able to do that. So, um, I don't know, I guess the blueberries kind of worked as training wheels and I guess my mind, my mind got used to being able to do that. Maybe. Uh, the other thing was that for the past few lucid dreams I had, I had them while sleeping with a pillow, still on my back, but with a pillow. So, yeah, I, I guess uh, I guess it doesn't really matter whether you're using a pillow or not. I just broke my pen. I've been fidgeting with it too hard. I'm gonna put it down. So yeah, I guess it doesn't matter whether you use a pillow or not. Also, I was experimenting with how long I should sleep before doing wake back to bed, and it seems like five hours after I go to sleep is the ideal time. If I, if I try to do it before then, then the lucid dream happens too early in the night and it's kind of hard to remember it after I wake up. And if I do it later than five hours, then um, 
then it seems like I don't really have enough time to get back to sleep because I sleep for eight hours. And also it seems like then it's harder to go back to sleep because now I'm so well rested that I that I'm not sleepy enough to just go back to sleep like nothing. So yeah, five hours is working pretty good. And I think that's it. That's all I got. So uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.